Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, really good reading, okay? We're gonna talk about the good first and then we'll talk about the, the crazy, okay? All right, so um, success. Su success is imminent, Aquarius, and it could be coming to you or you could see the positive result of your success within a year. What you're doing now, you're gonna look, it's gonna look completely different a year from now. You're gonna be so glad that you dedicated yourself, your time, your energy, because um, this is gonna turn out well for you. Uh, remain positive because this is only going up. It's improving in health, okay? just wait okay yes you had to make some sacrifice and some compromise but you had to be assertive in knowing that this was going to work out for you this is really good aquarius okay um and then also we have uh we have um the gibbous moon you are very close to achieving your goal aquarius whatever you're doing do know that achievement is here success is here keep going it's going to turn out well for you it's just growing the gibbous talks about getting bigger so maybe you're getting bigger your following is getting larger your um your patrons are are getting larger who, who patronize your business uh the eyes on you at work in terms of you putting out a uh, high quality work is getting larger people are seeing you you're gonna get recognition here um so so that's really good Aquarius um let's talk about um let's jump to love now okay um some of you have found a new lover okay and this person is in love with you you're in love with them you're showing up as the sweetheart and they're showing up as the lover which is counterparts in this deck so it's very very good here um it's just the the newness of of this love here you guys could be em embarking on a more committed uh relationship here maybe a little a few unresolved uh issues but he, but nothing that you can't get through someone else is asking that you reconsider Aquarius this is not you and with them asking you to reconsider it's going to bring you to a place of meditation you need to meditate because you're not going to know what to do someone is asking you to reconsider because they can't stand their life without you and this could be a masculine energy it could be a feminine also Th this is a person if it would focus okay malady this is a person who just can't cope with the fact that it is over it is done um they can't cope with change that something has changed uh, they're having a hard time getting out of bed their health could be declining as i say that uh, we've got the health declining card um things are declining maybe the health of their money um their actual physical health they're getting some type of karma okay uh, to where they can't deal with the fact that uh, this is their life now and it also also they're making sense of it like okay I treated certain person like this and now I am in this energy so somebody is putting the puzzle pieces together someone is saying okay maybe I treated the Aquarius poorly and now um, I am on the decline okay uh, or vice versa Aquarius you could have treated someone poorly and now you're on the decline here Aquarius um at work it feels like especially if some of you work from home if you're doing your own thing if you have your own business if you're really the boss um you're not getting as much money as you you're worth or you feel like you you need okay and you're just getting just enough to to hold you over for some reason it seems as if spirit angels are blessing you, you know, here and there. It's like the abundance will come, but not before the work is done. And I think the work on you, too, as a business owner, as uh, the responsible party, I think you have to show and prove here because it is 
that you are getting underpaid at work here, but that's going to change uh, very soon. Those of you who are um, in new connections, you may be taking a, a weekend getaway with your person, with this new lover here. Uh, weekend getaway, very nice. Um, because uh, this person just, uh, they say, I love lying in your arms. Okay. So somebody is just, they just love being around you. They love the energy. They love the newness. It's going, it's going well. Um, this is a really good relationship. Okay. For some of you, if you're in a new relationship and for some of you, you you've got that coming to you. The cards want to tell you that there's going to be some peaceful resolution between you is somebody from the past because this person is in need of therapy and maybe once you actually talk to this person it could be therapeutic and help them get out of this energy of not being able to cope with the fact that it's over or you're done with them okay they're definitely not seeing things clearly and they need to talk to somebody they could feel like they're in love with you i'm in love with my side woman they could have had you as the side woman here um and they're in love with you okay and um, they miss the late night creeping the whole sneaky link type of energy um and i think you're over it and that's going to be the peaceful resolution that you have when you actually communicate clearly with this person that this is not something you want to be a part of because we also have it's time to release negativity okay i don't even think you see this person in the most positive light um Therefore, it's just time to, to, for you to release it all together. It's not feeding you. Well, it's, it's, not, um, it's not good for you, okay? Um, it's not uh, adding value to you. Um, it's only decreasing, you, you know, uh, or declining your, your mental state when you think about this person. You could be dealing with a Scorpio that you need to release, um, maybe you're having those very vindictive vengeful thoughts of you know how can i get back yeah grudges you know holding grudges and it's toxic you need to let this go you need the, to end the argument peaceful resolution here it is over end it um it's time for you to move and live um go from living in fear to living in joy you know um you're right to have your suspicions Aquarius and that's why the cards are asking you to meditate because it's going to bring you answers and a positive resolution or peaceful resolution here um, because your spidey senses are up in terms of this person for some of you this card means that you're going to be having some mind-blowing sex especially on this um this weekend getaway that you'll be taking um laying in your new boo's arms okay um, also for some of you, that was the, the, the link or the tie or the bond that held you and another person together, the late night creeping, um, the sex here, uh, but you need to release that. Okay. Um, someone has been unkind to you. They may have said words to you or vice versa, or you did this. It's about releasing that energy moving on from each other maybe it's that you weren't good for one another okay um this is what i have for you aquarius and you also could be in need of therapy aquarius if you are having trouble releasing this okay this is what i have for you if it resonates for you go over to the website book your reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a, oh sorry the spells that you need to take, uh, you can take um, advantage of are the charms for love. So this talks about um, wanted, you know, if you want to have luck in love, um, it says that you're going to need seven tiny rose quartz stones and you're going to put them on your windsill, on your windowsill. Um, and then you'll read below i'm going to post this on the community tab if you want to take advantage of that if you want to have more luck in love okay and then the honey love tonic okay so you're going to need spring water you're going to need a teapot um some rosemary mugwort uh yarrow and thyme uh and then you're going to make a tea here 
uh, and it's going to be for love, bringing more love into your life because it seems as if you really do need to le release some negativity that maybe an old person, old relationship brought to you. And this, and if you find that you're in this energy, Aquarius, where you're not able to cope with the fact that this person was just negative, it was a sex only connection. Um, it didn't lend to maybe long term commitment, and you need help releasing. Yes, check into therapy. Um, do the spells to bring more love into your heart, into your heart chakra, because some of your heart chakras could be closed. So that's what I have for you. All links are below. Go over to the website. These two cards will be on the community tab. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.